Hey, it's Jack from Alpha Charts with a stocks to watch video. Today is November 20th, 2022. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold stock or securities. I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. Also, don't forget, you can find me on Twitter at AlphaCharts365. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to this video and to my channel on YouTube. Um, it really does help me out. Um, and again, uh, subscriber growth and, and, and likes and, and, and comments on my videos um, just kind of keeps me engaged and keeps me making these videos. So thank you very much. Last announcement is if you like these charts, Trend Spider is running a Black Friday sale. Um, I think it's 60% uh, off right now, uh, Trend Spider um, uh, accounts. So if you are not part of Trend Spider but are looking to get involved, there is um there these are the best deals of the year by far so consider that i'll put a link down below in the description if you're interested i am an affiliate click my link and um and i do appreciate that as well okay uh let's get really uh fast to the to the charts now um cues you know not doing anything wrong at this point looks pretty constructive so uh so maybe we're making or starting to make the right side of a base and I think that's a, a opportunity for us to find some uh, some good looking names, right? So I have a list for you. I'm going to go quickly through them, write them down, make the trade your own. First up, CRDO. Um, yeah, I mean, what's done to like, right? If you look at, again, I'm going to zoom in on the right side of the base. You know, it's uh, it's doing everything right. Came back into the moving averages and trying to move higher. Uh, Boeing, BA. Some very large cap names are starting to look really good, actually. Um, and I apologize. I'm on the 65-minute chart. How about the daily chart? Let's start this with the cues real fast. There you go. That looks more like it. I was like, what's going on? All right, so here's the cues. Reset. Um, again, doing everything right. Right side of the base, like, like just like I mentioned. Um, things are looking pretty good here. Again, does have this decline 200-day moving average to contend with, but overall, everything is looking right. Um, again, nothing changed with my commentary. It's trying to make the right side of a base, period. Uh, very defined area of when this or if this will fail or not, right? Um, so going into CRDO, just do a quick little reset. You know, and we're watching this IPO base form, right? Earnings coming up here. Um, I have that on my chart right there. But overall, again, very strong looking chart. Uh, Boeing, yeah, big move up. There's your little flag it's making. Easily you can, you know, do something like that. Low volume in the flag looks great. You know, a lot of these large cap names are looking good. Here is Stoneco, Brazilian payment company, I think, if I remember right. It's been a while since I've looked at this one, but again, it's starting to really, um, it's starting to really, uh, you know, shape up nicely. Very defined area, CEG, beautiful uptrend. Again, you could easily see, This area right here, that's the important area. It's got to kind of maybe consolidate a little bit more, but looks really good. JXN. Um, you know, again, shaping up very, very nicely. What's more, you know, when you really zoom in, you kind of see how, how nice it looks. Um, what else is in here? VAL, some oil and gas names. Um, just hanging out here near all time highs, right? Uh, what's, you know, looks great. Uh, FCX copper name, right? So some copper names were making my list today. Again, strong up move, kind of flag on lower volume. Uh, so again, looks good at FCX, Freeport McMorin, GE. Again, these large cap, similar to, you know, Boeing, you know, or, um, yeah, Boeing. Um, again, big up, there's your flag. So some of these industrial names are starting to look good, right? You see the double bottom right over here. It can easily, uh, you know, show a double bottom here. There's your breakout, and it looks like it wants higher. Uh, C A R R Carrier again, another industrial name. It's got that double bottom ish look to it. This one quite hasn't broken out yet, right? That's it right there. So play it as you want, if you want. 
Caterpillar, again, industrial names are looking good, right? You can easily do something like that, right? If it flags, buy on the flag or the breakout, whatever you're into. Um, nice, you know, just nice accumulation on the right-hand side of the base, and that uh, looks good. Uh, DD, DuPont. Again, nice little flag, right? So we're seeing a lot of the same looking charts. Again, is that, whichever one looks the best to you, if you want to play it. Um, but these flags are kind of nice to see. MCHP, um, uh, chip name, right? So again, it's making this kind of rounding base, right? And then we can, you know, kind of do something like this, right? So as it's making this base, Maybe it needs to, you know, chop around a little bit, but again, looks pretty good. Moving averages are starting to align bullishly. Uh, DXCM uh, in in the um, healthcare sector, yeah, big big uh, earnings gap, and then uh, it's just kind of flagged out. So again, we could define risk right at the twenty three day EMA. You know, as long as you know, it can stay above, you know, one hundred nine ish. I think uh, this looks like it could be set up real nice. Again, just kind of flagging out. APO. So, you know, so again, a financial, right? What are we seeing? We're seeing breadth expansion. Trying to make, again, the right side of the base. There's your flag that we've seen a lot of these, you know, with the starting to be bullish aligned moving averages. Helozyme, biotech name, right? Broke out, came back, retested, moving higher. You know, this is kind of a real nice name to uh, manage risk against probably the slow, right? Stays above 5140-ish. You know, why not? You'd be in this name. Again, just making a flag. May need more time, but overall looks really good. And again, it's a beautiful base breakout. Again, multi-year, right? This is from 2021. So we'll call, call it a year and a half, right? Looks good, though. Uh, SCCO, another copper name, right? Southern uh, Copper Corporation. Again, there's your flag. Again, starting at the bullishly aligned moving averages. This one probably has a little more work than FCX. FCX, well, they look very similar, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, whichever one you like better, go about the nice accumulation happening in this name. MTZ. Um, Mass Tech, again, another industrial name. Big ups, there's your flag just setting up again on lower volume. Love to see that. Uh, EYE, National Vision. Again, we have the bullishly aligned moving averages. Looks like this one wants higher. Wing, W I N G. This is Wing Stop coming into this area. You know, maybe finding some supply from back here in 2021. But really, just stair stepping higher, and now the two hundred days starting to rise. Um, med P, Med Pace. I mean, giant gap up right here, right, and then sideways. You know, probably needs to take out or close at least close above two thirty. But again, looking really good. Um, what else we have? Hudson HDSN. Nice little double bottom near all time highs. Looks fantastic. STLD, Steel Dynamics, and, you know, in the material space. Again, trying to move higher here. And then you have FLR, uh, I believe industrial. Again, so a lot of industrials showing up, a lot of materials showing up. You're getting some um, uh, technology names in there. So a lot of stuff to like, right? Again, thank you for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter at AlphaSharks365. Like and subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving. Remember, markets are closed Thursday, half day on Friday. Lower trading volume this week overall because people are taking vacations. Take care, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.